y'all, it's your girl F by Fumi, and today I'll be doing the ABCs of multimedia. First on the list for the ABCs are aspect ratio. Aspect ratio is basically the length and width of your video in simpler terms. So it's basically like nine, like if nine was this way, it's nine by like three. So it's basically the dimensions of a video or any type of media, whether it's a picture, video, anything. It's just the dimension. B, I don't have a word for B. Do I have a word for B? Okay, no, we're just gonna skip to C. C is for climax. So, have you ever watched a movie and you get to the part where like your heart is racing really fast, you're on the edge of your seat, you can't wait to see what happens next. That's the climax. You were experiencing the climax of the movie or the climax of the story. And the climax is basically where you have, what am I trying to say? The climax is basically the peak of whatever you're watching. Or it could be in a book too. So it's basically where the most tension is built up. So when you're watching a movie, everything that leads up until that point in the movie where it's just action and you just clutching your heart, is that's the climax, basically. I don't know how else to explain that. I don't know how else to explain the climax. It's just the peak of the movie. It's basically where things get real, 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 real interesting. That's all. Simple. Now, for letter D, I cannot say this word. So, I'm going to have the breakdown of it right here. Because I don't know how to say this word. But we're going to try. I want to say it's denouement. Denouement. Denouncement. There's no C in there. Denouement. Denouement. However you say it, y'all see it. But basically... Denouement is so basically denouement is the part in the movie where all the pieces come together everything you were asking everything you were like hmm could it be could it not it's basically the part of the film or what you're watching where everything just comes together and all those missing puzzle pieces kind of fall in line that's basically denouement. Now for letter E, we have extreme close-up. So it's basically explains itself. E, extreme close-up, it's a extreme close-up. Have you ever been somewhere and someone was just all up in your face? That's an extreme close-up. They were extremely close up to your face. <laughs> that's, that's, that's just what it was. ECU. Now we have F for finder. You know, F is the best letter in the alphabet. And I'm not just saying that because my name starts with an F. It's just facts. <laughs> just facts. But finder is basically the tool that you use to organize, you know, your stuff on a MacBook. Now, we're gonna take a pause right here. For my people who have Android, Samsung's, Galaxies, this is not for you. So go ahead and skip to letter G, because letter F, Finder has nothing, you know, you can't relate. I'm sorry, you're not an iPhone user, you're not an Apple user, you know, can't relate. But Finder is basically, that button in the corner of your MacBook, like, it's gonna be right here, I'm gonna show y'all. That button, it's basically where everything is organized. You can find documents, you can find photos, you can search stuff up on your MacBook if you don't know where exactly you put it or saved it. Finder is there to find it. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. 
binder is there to find and organize documents, files, you know, everything. Now on to letter G. Letter G. So we're gonna do G for .gov. Now, if you're asking, what is a .gov? I'm gonna tell you. Now, whenever you're doing like research or like a research paper, or you're having to like find like facts, and not just stuff you find on Google that's like Wikipedia and people can just, you know, give their opinion. No, like these are facts. It's research and stats and it's been analyzed. You would find all that kind of stuff under .gov. That's where you have like people who have PhDs who are experts in certain things. Or what am I trying to say? It's basically where you can find like it's basically where you can find credible articles, credible citations, just credible facts, basically, is .gov. So if you're ever doing a research paper and you type in a website and it says Wikipedia or it says, I don't know, like, I don't know. But if you're ever, you know, doing a paper or anything, make sure you're getting your stuff from things that either say .gov, .edu, or it's another one, but I can't think of it. I'll put it down here, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. But it's .gov, .edu, like those are credible sources to use. Yeah, and that's, what letter are we on? G. <laughs> that's G for .gov. We're on letter H. So for H, we're doing H264. Now, if you weren't a journalism student and you heard H264, what's the first thing that would come to your mind? Let's just ponder, let's think, let's think. Everybody, what will come to your mind? Because if I was a journalism student and I heard H264, I would think that was like some nuclear like bomb or like, Something that the government doesn't want the public to know about, like Experiment 264. Like, y'all. But no, let me not scare y'all, no. H264 is basically the format that you save your videos in. If you're using things like, you know, Adobe Premiere, you would use it to basically, you know, save your videos. Um, yeah. This is the format that you use whenever you go to Premiere. It's going to be right here. I see it. Yeah. That's basically it. It's just a format, a file format in order for you to have, in order for you to save your project with good quality, you will save it in H264. Now we're on letter I. I. Meet myself and I. Uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna be my own best friend and cut. Okay, I is for intro. Intro. So, let's explain to self. Intro is basically how you introduce what you're about to say. Like, basically. It's an introduction of what you're about to say. You know, you tell your name. What's up? My name is Fumi. <laughs> what you gonna talk about? Hello, my name is Fumi. And today we're doing the multimedia ABCs. That's an intro. Simple, cute, collect, and clear. Like, you know, the three C's. <laughs> but, yeah, it's basically what sets the mood or the tone for what you're going to be watching. Um, intro can make or break your video because if I watch your introduction and I don't feel drawn into what you're saying, then I'm not going to keep watching. So you need a bomb intro, an attention grabber. You get it? Um, another, you know word for intro could be 
the lead, you know, it leads you into what you're going to watch. A lot of these words explain themselves, so, you know, lead, intro, tomato, tomato, you know, you get it. Now we're on letter K, 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 letter K. Okay, we're on letter K now. Letter K, we're doing keyframe. Keyframe. Now, keyframe is basically, how do I describe keyframe? So basically keyframe is what marks the beginning and the end of whatever you're like editing. So like right here, that's a keyframe. It just basically like shows you like it marks the beginning and the end of like you know what you're editing so yeah I don't know how else to describe it but if you're an editor you know what keyframe is yep you do well you should if you don't it's not looking too good on to the next letter and finally, last but not least, L. See how that see how that played into the L, last, not least, we're on letter L details. But we're on letter L, alphabet, letter L, and our word is landscape, which is what you should be shooting this video in. If you're not and you're just now realizing you shot your video in portrait, you might want to start over, sis, bro. You might want to start over because everything should be shot in landscape. Unless you're making, you know, a Snapchat, taking a Snapchat, you know, pick. You need that good portrait, close. Flawless pose, then no. Shooting landscape saves you time, saves me time, saves your teacher time. And if you're in my class or you have Professor Jowers, you know what he's gonna say. Everything should be shot in landscape. No exceptions, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Points will be deducted. Okay, so don't be that student that shoots in portrait. You gotta shoot in landscape. If what you're shooting doesn't look like this, and it looks like this, then you have a problem. You need to start over, you need to delete everything you have, and just start from the beginning. Scratch, just start from scratch. Yeah, but landscape, you get it. You know the vibes. <laughs> But yeah, that concludes the letters of the multimedia ABCs. Yeah. If you watched it up to this point, thank you for watching. You're appreciated. You're loyal. You're the best. In my DJ Khaled voice. But no, for real, for real. Thank you all for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you took notes because there will be a quiz soon, probably. I hope not. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you want to see. And I will see y'all next time with another video. Another video, another video, another video.